In geometry, dihedral is the inclination or angling of any two planes, not airplanes, but flat surfaces, planes, to one another. And in an aircraft, dihedral is referred to when each wing is inclined to the other, and typically in an upward sense. There is a, a concept of anhedral in certain high wing, uh, mostly jet aircraft, which accomplish something uh, different, which I won't go into in this video. Polyhedral incorporates the exact same concept which I'm about to describe, um, but goes about this by angling uh, the wing tips in one or more segments in some angle relative to the actual main airfoil. And this can occur in two places like this example here, or it can be take place in many places, or it can actually be curved smoothly and accomplish the exact same outcome. There's a couple of main reasons why a builder might want to use dihedral. Uh, the first is to economize on complexity, weight, and expense. Now the expense one is increasingly less valid because servos are so cheap these days for less than five dollars. You could easily put in a couple of uh, aileron servos with a straight wing and get by with that. Weight considerations mostly for gliders, particularly discus launch gliders, that is a valid concern. And the complexity of ailerons is moderate. Uh, I happen to think that a lot of noob flyers are uh, unnecessarily scared of ailerons, um, but I will admit that does add some additional complexity in build and operation, and maybe that's not something you're ready to tackle. The overwhelming reason to consider building in dihedral or polyhedral is roll stability, or self-writing ability. Now, it, uh, this plane will operate with just a rudder with pilot inputs to accomplish rolls, but what we're really speaking of is the self-writing ability either from pilot uh, poor inputs or by turbulence or air movements or poor launches and that sort of thing in which the plane may end up in an unusual attitude and with dihedral it would have some ability, not complete, to write itself to a wings level attitude. So that self-writing behavior is very helpful in long wingspan planes, sail planes which fly in a bit of turbulence but have such a large wingspan, but also to new flyers who may just be a couple of seconds behind cognitively as to what the plane is doing and it allows them a little bit of leeway to think about what the plane is doing uh, and put in the uh, correct uh, control inputs to make the plane do what they want it to do. So let's talk a little bit about how dihedral works. First, to get this out of the way, the way it do doesn't work is by asymmetrically applying lift to the, each of the wings. Uh, some may intuitively think when this plane is rolled in this direction that because this is parallel to the earth, perpendicular to gravity, that it generates more lift than the opposite wing, which is inclined up. But remember, the lift vector is perpendicular to the, uh, the cord of the wing and the span of the wing um, so that it points up. So a plane in a bank, the lift is simply directed towards the inside of the turn. That has no writing effect at all. This wing has just as much uh, lift as this wing, uh, no more, no less. And so the plane would simply be lifted in this direction rather than lifted up into its upright position. Instead, the dihedral in principle works by the concept of side slip. Now this is much more apparent with a pilot input of yaw, uh, but it also accounts for the, the roll stability that dihedral tends to impart, e even in a plane flying in a neutral wings level attitude. And how this works is if there's any uh, yaw perturbation, either input by the pilot, by wind, or any, any other factor, the uh, upwind wing, that's the one facing the relative wind that's facing you, incurs a greater angle of attack and the downwind wing facing the rear of the relative wind sees a lower angle of attack. So this greater angle of attack rolls the plane this way. So in the case of a pilot input, we may put the airplane in yaw by inputting rudder. This wing sees more uh, ang higher angle of attack, thus more lift, rolls the plane to the right. If the pilot puts in left rudder, this wing is brought forward, sees a greater angle of attack, rolls the plane to the left. Now how this works in, let's say, slightly turbulent air where you want a plane like a sailplane to maintain wings level in a somewhat automated fashion, this is not a perfect thing, but it is a stability factor that helps a little bit, is when the plane is put into a roll, let's say, by some turbulence, it slips in this direction, and therefore this wing sees a greater angle of attack and it rights the plane like that. If the plane is rolled slightly in this direction by the wind, because remember this doesn't have ailerons, it could only be turbulence or air movements that roll the plane, not the pilot. Uh, it side slips and this wing sees a greater angle of attack, so it rights the plane like that. So to visually exaggerate that a little bit, I'll incline the plane at a greater angle of attack than it would ordinarily fly, but you should see that the wings look about symmetrical right there. 
I'll put in a left rudder and point the right wing towards you and you'll see a greater proportion of the lower surface of the wing. You're looking from the relative winds view and you can imagine that higher angle of attack will lift that way. I will yaw the plane to the right and you'll see that there's a greater lower surface area on this wing visible than this wing and this is what causes this wing to increase lift and roll off to the right. Now for normal everyday flying, I'm personally not a big fan of dihedral. Um, just being very accustomed to ailerons and scale aircraft and model aircraft, uh, I just like the, the actual axial roll component that ailerons impart and then coordinating that with rudder. If you're a brand new pilot, you probably won't miss that until you get into three axis flying. But in a dihedral plane, when the pilot inputs rudder, the plane will sort of uh, yaw, as you'd expect, kind of in this wonky way, and then start its turn. And this is, in a way, you can illustrate the concept of side slip. If you put in a very aggressive, let's say, right rudder, the plane will first yaw aggressively, and the upwind wing will see that increase of relative wind, and it'll, it'll sort of bank over like that. Um, some pilots like me find that a little bit awkward and weird to fly. Uh, but if you're just getting started, some of the benefits of the dihedral may actually work out uh, better for you where you are in your um, flying experience. What do you think? It's pretty sweet. It's nice, nice gentle 